All right, everybody, here we are out here in Mililani on the island of Oahu again today. Today I'm going to be flying the 300X with all metal components. Um, too bad I didn't have a bigger park. Most of the parks are being used by practicing teams today, soccer, football, baseball. So I'm kind of limited to this small spot. So I'm going to take it easy, do some mild 3D, nothing really too nuts. I don't want to lose control and have it go where it shouldn't go. So we'll let it actuate first. Let the beast eight, beast X initiate. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm putting the canopy on right now. It's kind of a tight fit this canopy. but it's on. There's the function check. Okay, rudder is working. Be flying using a DX7S today. It's kind of windy out here probably about 10 to 15 miles an hour so I'm gonna take it easy okay we're in idle up The wind is blowing her all over the place. It's windy today. I'm gonna try and turn it into the wind so it's a little more controllable. Tail holds very nicely. Oh, it's windy today. You can tell the helicopter is getting blown all over the place. Beast X holds that tail very nice.
Boy, it is really windy today. Let's just do some circuits. And there she is everybody, no crash with the all metal head, it flies superb. I love this thing, um, one of the few helicopters from Blade that I would recommend. Um, has its issues with the, the frame and the main shaft like I've told you in my other videos, but I mean you guys saw it for yourself, it flies pretty good. I'm in about 10 to 15, 20 mile an hour wind right now. That's kind of while it was losing track a little bit, tail was washing out a little bit when I was trying to do some hard 3D. but. I mean, I kind of took it easy because I am in a really small field right now and there's people around, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be getting some more videos out soon. Alright.